in this lab the objectives first one get familiar with the network application of facts the second objective analyze internet history email review chat logs in the laptop image you have downloaded in our previous lab the windows forensics provided by california cybersecurity institute with the appropriate digital forensic tools such as autopsy decode registry explorer jump list etc complete all tasks uh, listed in these uh, three chapters so let's go through these three chapters to see whether there are any uh, challenge these are the tools you may use google to find more tools there are lots of digital forensic tools out there I think they're all the same. Let's go to 10, 11, 9. Here, 10, 11, 9. First one, internet history. Next one, chat logs. Last one, email. Yeah, internet history. Mainly we got the artifacts from our browser. So it depends on which browser you are using. Here you need to download this image. Since you have downloaded this one before, here this laptop image. We don't need, the, we don't need this additional practice uh, image. So here are those uh, artifacts, cookies. Again, we here, right, earlier in the Craig Tucker case, we found files in his uh, download, download folder. Now we are going to find more information. I think this uh, menu is quite clear to follow. Here are some uh, refresh review about cookies you can use these pots browser view of cookies you can check on the browsers to find these uh, cookies here for example this uh, chrome Right in the settings, you want to find all those cookies. Here you can see uh, the cookie and other site date. See all cookies and the site data. So here you can see all the cookies and the site data. The history, downloads, searches. Now, how do we analyze? See, again, we use that uh, autopsy, right? Inside our autopsy, you can check this uh, here, the location, say, of the cookies of Chrome, based for Chrome. As we discussed uh, last week, Firefox, uh, Safari, they are saved on different locations, i.e. the Internet Explorer, go to those places with your autopsy. SQLite will examine. For Chrome, such like a uh, web cookies history download search that are saved uh, inside some SQLite library. 
uh, database. So you use our proxy to complete this part. And for this uh, layer, this is chapter 10. We don't see any uh, contents uh, challenge. For chapter even, chat bloggers. So it depends on what chat apps you are using. Here, talk about a uh, Skype log view. You can download this software from this location. Then modify the Skype log. And those files are saved on the location here. Windows 8, Windows 7, depends on the Windows version. You need to export the log files. Then use this uh, scape log view to find the chattings. And this is an easy lab, right? The last chapter, email. Here for email, Windows 8 mail app. You can find the, and this email messages in autopsy. Subfolders for Windows 8 mail application. Attachments. Side of the attachments, you need to show the images you found. Windows 10 mail application. Empty file hash to verify the integrity of files. You need to run this ingest module. Then you can compare where those images were found from the email attachment and those download folders. They are identical or not. Windows Live Mail and Mozilla Sunbird, different email client applications, they sell these emails, attachments, maybe in different <coughs> format and a different location. Here, contacts and a keyword search. We know some email clients. It depends on the user. Almost uh, uh, all email clients will have con contacts. Here you can run this keyword search to find uh, the information you are interested in. You need to run this uh, ingest module to get the result. Okay, I think this uh, lab is uh, quite easy.